To set up and manage classes in the Securely Classroom portal, when you first log in, you will want to change and make sure that you have classes selected in this left-hand menu. You will see a couple tabs across the top. Classes are going to be manually created classes. If you use Google Classroom, those classes will import in and you will have any active Google Classroom with your students already there. If you need to create a manual class, make sure you have the Classes tab selected and click the Add button. Name your class. You can give it a description if you would like, but this is not required. Once you have the class set, you will be taken to another tab that says Class Students. Right now I have no students in my class. I have a couple different ways that I can get students into my class. The first way is to add them by looking them up in the Google directory. I can do this by clicking the Add button and then clicking Import from Google directory. I can type the name of my student and then hit the Return or Enter key. Any matching students will be found and I can click the checkbox in front of any student I want to add to my class and then click Import. Now I have the student added to my class. The other method to add students is to use a CSV file from Skyward. What you will need to do is you will need to go into your Skyward teacher account and under Teacher Access and Classes, you will want to go to the Reports menu. From there, you are going to access the class roster report. You will want to make sure that the email box is checked. And then you can uncheck anything else down here, uh, but you're going to end up removing everything but the email anyways. Then you need to export to Excel. Your report will go into the print queue, and when it's finished processing, you'll have the ability to display report, which will save the CSV file to your computer. You will then want to open that CSV file, and you are going to need to clean up this file. And to do that, you are going to delete all the rows and columns except for the emails. And this includes the header rows as well. So I'm going to delete these rows and then I'm going to delete the name column. So all that I'm left with is the email addresses of my students in my class. Make sure you save that. If you get any prompts, you might have to click continue. Once that CSV file has been saved, you can go back to Securely. And when you are on the Class Students tab of your class, you can click the Import button. And this will ask you if you want to import from a CSV file. You're going to click Choose File. And then you are going to locate that CSV file that you just saved. Once you've attached the file, there's an import button at the bottom here, and then it will ask you if you want to import these users. Just click yes to continue. And then any students will be added to your class, and it will find their first and last names based on the email address in the Google directory. Please reach out to the technology coaches if you have any additional questions.